Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement the first message we have is my access to you is being restricted Wow so the first thing that I'm picking up here is your energy is extremely sacred and so is this connection here. Um, you've been through your fair share of challenges with this person. And I'm feeling that it's almost as if God has stepped in here. And it's restricting your person from having access to you so that they won't come back into your life with the same old stuff from the past here. This is very powerful energy here. Your person is being restricted from you until they are able to come at you correctly here. They have some spiritual growth, okay? I'm also hearing that they have to release certain karmic cycles. I feel that your person is open, your person is ready, your person is willing, but your person doesn't have the tools here. And that could be the reason why you experience a lot of delays in the past, a lot of struggles, a lot of cyclical energy or just you know the same old stuff just kept happening just reoccurring events here within your connection with this person your person may need to do some purging of past karmic cycles in order to move forward with you in the best way possible here it's almost as if a higher power has stepped in and told your person nope we are not going to continue to approach them if you haven't healed all the way through here your person may be skipping a couple steps. Um, I'm also feeling like a sense of urgency here. Maybe there's been some time and space between you and your person just really, really wants to get to you. They really, really want to express something to you. They want to talk to you. They want to rekindle this flame here. But I'm feeling that there's it's something really, really important here that they have to purge from their energy. If there's a certain cycle that needs to be closed out completely, before you and this person comes back together because if not it's it's just going to continue to be the same old thing yeah there's a very back and forth energy within this connection here you and this person have been through um your fair share of struggles but this is also a very very sacred okay because higher power is stepping in here to get your person together before they come back towards you so your energy is very sacred this connection is very, very sacred, very spiritual, and very powerful, okay? Let's get into the next message here. We have, I haven't been completely honest with you, okay? So, your person wants you to know that they haven't been honest with you. Your person wants to come clean to you about something. And I feel that you can feel your person has been holding back from you in some kind of way. You can feel that something about their energy may be a little bit off to you at this time, even if you're at a distance from this person. I feel that um, there is much more going on with your person than they are able to share with you at this time. Like I said, they are going through a very, very spiritual um, time right now. Okay, a lot of healing, a lot of purging, um, a lot of self-reflection right now where they may not be able to openly express to you what it is they're going through. They may not be able to give you all the details here, but I do see that, I do see that this is a very positive change here. So if you have been picking up that your person may be acting a little weird or you just can't read them very well or just something a little off about their energy, you are correct. Okay, and your person does want you to know that they haven't been completely honest, but I feel that they want to wait until the time is right to approach you to let you know exactly what's going on here. And I'm picking up that you're very, very intuitive. It's almost as if you can sniff out, you know, when your person is not telling you the truth or when they're not, you know, being openly honest with you in communication. You can definitely feel it here. And you're right. Let's get into the next message here. We have, what did you do to me? 
Wow. So your person, although they may be going through these spiritual upgrades, although you but you guys may be at a distance from each other, your person has been awakened to your power here. And I'm talking about your spiritual power. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They have been receiving karma for things that they did to you, certain ones. Um, they're being taught very, very valuable spiritual lessons right now. And I feel like a lot of these spiritual lessons could be centered around you. Um, I'm just getting a really, really powerful energy at this time. Your person may have thought that you were like everyone else. Um, but now they know that there is a cost. Okay, that comes when you are dealing with a true divine being here. Okay, you may have even told this person that you are not the same as other people. Maybe they didn't believe you. Oh, but but now they do. Okay, um, this person is consumed with thoughts of you at this time here. Um, but they know that they can't just approach you any kind of way here. Like I said, their access is being restricted at this time. They know that they have to be strategic. They know that they have to come from their heart space. You're making this person like do a whole um, 180 here. It's like whatever worked on other people, it doesn't work on you. They have to go deep when they want to go to you, okay? <laughs> like a, high, a higher power has even stepped in to let them know like, hey, your old tactics is not going to work here. You have to go deep. You have to heal. You have to really put in that spiritual work in order to advance this connection here. So your person can feel their your energy all around them. I'm also getting, okay, this may not be for everybody, but I'm also getting that there's a very, very strong, passionate sexual energy within this connection here, okay? Um, I'm also getting that this may have caused a lot of false starts here because you and your person just want to be consumed by each other. You want to be around each other so much. And that sexual energy, you know, it's passionate, it's fast, it's fiery. Um, it may have actually caused a lot of false starts here. So, yeah. Um, your person can definitely feel your energy all around them. But um, they know that they have it has to be right this time. They have to approach you in the right way. So your person may be asking themselves, like, what is this person doing to me? Why can't I stop thinking about them? Like, what the heck is going on right now? Yeah. Next message we have here is, I'm worried about you. Oh. So your person wants you to know that they are worried about you right now. Um, that's so sweet. I feel like with, with everything that's going on in the world, they just want to know that you're okay here. So you may be at a distance from your person, but your person just really wants to know that you are happy, that you are healthy, you know, that you are in good spirits. At this time, um, they care deeply about you and they want you to know that no matter the time, no matter the space, no matter the distance, it really, really brings your person peace to know that you are doing well and that you are thriving at this time. I feel like if you if you are at a distance or if you have stopped speaking to your person, they're really, really starting to feel the effects of your absence at this time. Um, if they have you on social media, maybe they can't really read your energy or pick up your energy. For some of you, I just heard blocked. So... Some of you may be blocked. You may have um, blocked your person. They may have blocked you. Somebody may have went ghost. Um, but your person is like really, really worried about you right now. Um, they just want to know that you're that you're doing well, that you're healthy, you're happy, and you're okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so the next message that we have here is we have tell me how you feel. Okay. So your person wants you to know that they feel as if there's something you're not telling them at this time. Um, you may be coming off really aloof to your person. Maybe you want to come off aloof to your person. I'm picking up that some of you actually want to come off aloof. Um, I feel like some of you were extremely open in the beginning of your connection or just in general. You're just generally an open person. You're very expressive. 
um, you have no problem with expressing how you feel here. But I feel like you're, you've been kind of pulling back your energy a little bit and your person does feel it, okay? They do feel it. Um, I'm also picking up that you both may actually be holding back due to the current state of your connection. Your person's access is being restricted spiritually from you at this time. And I feel like um, there's so much love here though. There's like, this this union is very, very sacred, okay? This connection that you have with this person is very, it's very spiritual, it's very sacred here. Um, but I feel like you both are not expressing your love to each other at this time for whatever reason that may be. But your person wants you to know that you can tell them how you feel. They want you to know that you can feel comfortable to tell them however that you're however you're feeling right now. Either about them, about the connection, about, you know, just general stuff in life. Maybe you're dealing with something that's totally external to this connection and your person wants you to know that you can still reach out to them. You know, they're still your friend. They still care about you. They still love you, you know, regardless of, of what's going on here. Okay, let's get the last message here. We have... We're in too deep. Yeah, like I was saying, this this connection is, is really, really, this is a very deep, spiritual, sacred connection I'm picking up on. Um, it's very, it's very special to the both of you here. Your person, they don't want to lose you, and they are really willing to do whatever it takes at this time. Um, I'm picking up that you both know that this that this connection you have is not normal. Okay, I just got that, not normal. Um, this is a deeper connection. This connection is more spiritual. It transcends time. It transcends space and all the other constructs of this physical realm here that we're in right now. Um, you and this person are deeply intertwined with one another. And it's almost impossible for you both to just go about your lives without the other kind of, you know, being involved in some kind of way. Um... It's almost as if your person carries you with them on a daily basis in their heart space. You're always at the top of their mind. You could be the last person they think about before they go to sleep and the first person they think about in the morning. Um, this is so sweet. Um, your person wants you to know that the love that they share with you is beyond anything that they can comprehend. It's not normal. I'm, I just keep getting intertwined okay so that may stick out to you in some kind of way but it's like you're enmeshed with one another like you are oh my gosh this is really really intense right now um i feel as though your person may be going through some kind of spiritual upgrade right now um before the both of you can come back together so that you won't you won't experience any more delays in this connection here, but your person wants you to know that you're in too deep, okay? Um, there's no turning back at this point here. So whatever they have to do to get towards you here, they're willing to do it here. So you may not hear from your person um, for I don't know how long here, however this takes for them to clear, but they're, they're under divine guidance right now. And your person wants you to know that you're in too deep okay they love you they're willing to do whatever it takes to get you back here um and they're putting in that work right now so wow this is a very very beautiful powerful message if you resonated be sure to like the video on your way out consider subscribing to the channel here and i will see you all in the next video bye bye